I don't know what's real, but I know it's reality. I'm counting the days they fly. Could you take me to paradise where I don't know a thing? Just put me to sleep tonight. And it's kind of crazy how you made me who I am and you changed me. Is it too late? I'm only 18 and I'm still breathing. Couldn't break me. You break me down till I'm six feet and six more deep. And when I can't breathe, I'm underwater. You don't see me. I'm gasping for air until I break free. Could I break free? Cause I'm on my own tonight. Never made it home last night. No sleep. And I feel alone. The sun goes deep. Don't want it to but I know I don't need Feelings always fade So I guess mine will But the memories that I made They serve no I know I know what you guys are wondering Bruno Where have you been? But brothers And sisters Hear me out I have been really busy. Without wanting to make much of an excuse, these past two terms have been the most stressful and busiest time of my life. First, obviously, my PhD got up to speed. I had to produce two papers in these past two terms to make sure I had enough content to start producing my thesis. I also worked part-time for a couple of months in this robotic company. And of course, I always do it in a teaching because I'm a PhD student and I'm poor and I need money to buy tech that I will use for a couple of days and make me happy and then forget that I have it. You know, always trying to fill that emotional void with material objects and it never really works, but you know, keep on trying. I managed to produce two new papers in these past two terms, even though that the first one got rejected. I was shattered, but at the same time, I kind of really didn't like that paper. It was not my best work, so kind of expecting it. The second paper, however, I and my supervisors are really happy about. It's currently under revision. I loved working on it and hopefully, very hopefully, it will get accepted to a pretty good journal. We also just submitted a smaller paper for a workshop conference and we'll see how that goes through. Today is the first day of the third term of my third year in my PhD, so that's exciting. Thankfully, we don't have tons to do for today, so it can be quite a chill day. The plan for this morning is I am gonna have some really nice breakfast, then I have a meeting regarding the teaching of one of the modules I'll have for this term, and we need to prepare some slides for a presentation on Thursday. That's the plan for the morning, hopefully we get everything done before noon, and then for the afternoon, I actually don't know what I'm doing yet, but we'll go with the flow and figure out as we go along. I just finished my meeting. You know, it's hilarious because I have worked with almost every single lecture from the mathematical and computer science departments. And now every time I'm doing another module with them, they're like, Bruno, you're everywhere. And I'm like, yes. Yes, I am. It is now time to work on my slides. You know, my supervisor, he knows that I love talking. And so whenever he's asked to do a seminar or webinar or, you know, just a general presentation about the research that we do in our laborator laboratory lab, uh, he always asks me to do it. I genuinely think that soft skills like communication and uh, presentation and being able to communicate effectively information to the public is just as important as uh, technical skills, especially in academia, you know, you got to make those networks, those connections, and you end up working with people from all around the globe. And that's how you gain ideas for cool research. Anyway, before starting your presentation, there's one very important thing we need to do. Stay hydrated, folks. It's good for the skin. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else. Presentation is all done and frankly I'm quite happy with it. I always try to make my presentations, my slides, as visual as possible. There is nothing that discourages me more when listening to a presentation and just seeing a wall of text and I'm like, am I supposed to read that? Are you reading that? Are you explaining that to me? 
it just doesn't work that well, does it? I would much rather have a good image and have the person explain to me what's happening in the process that they're explaining, even if some of the details ain't there, because it's hard to convey everything. You, I think you get a much better idea, or at least like a, an overview of uh, what's going on, rather than trying to read text. God, my arms are so sore that even just holding the camera like this is uh, killing me. Anyway, it's lunchtime and we're gonna make some air fried chips and chicken. Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know my time now I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else no one stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive it's just what I do when I'm out so try not to hold me down feel alive hi guys you see that there is a crucial lack bananas in my cupboards, which means we need to go groceries. No, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at the beautiful stars. I want to take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. drive a faster car okay guys i need to be honest with you i didn't just go to aldi i also went to the camera shop and i'll show you what i got there are two types of content that i just love to do with a camera first are videos and second are portraits for video i am pretty well covered already in fact i am really happy with the lens that you are currently seeing me through however for portrait i was missing a decent full frame lens so i had some credits in the camera store in town and I went ahead and got this. It's a Lumix 85mm with a maximum aperture of 1.8, so it should get some nice blurry backgrounds for my portraits. I have been waiting for this lens for like a week now, and I already told all of my gym friends that as soon as I got it, we were gonna take... Oh, I think I'm opening this... I don't know. We were gonna take some mad pictures at the gym, and I cannot wait to try it out. It's actually, for a full frame lens, I was actually expecting this to be much bigger. It is a prime, so it's not a zoom lens, but still, that's, uh, that's pretty compact. I mean, it's, it's somewhat ridiculous. Like, look at, <laughs> look at the size of the box and the size of the lens. This makes absolutely no sense. Oh, I think there's more inside as well. I, oh, just the camera, the camera hood. I don't, I really don't like using camera hoods. So I think it's going back in the box. By the way, guys, if uh, I will always advise you to, if you ever get camera gear to keep the boxes of everything, the lens, the camera, whatever, because it's very common for you to want to resell or swap your gear for something else down the line. So always keep everything that you can. The real challenge is to fit everything as it was before without destroying everything. But I think we did a decent job, I wanna say. Now, I can't really show you on the camera because, well, I'm using the camera to record this, but I cannot wait for tomorrow to take some mad pics of the gang. Also, I had some extra credits and I got something I've been wanting to get for ages as well, a Polaroid camera. It was in promotion, so I took the, I took the shot and look at it. It's beautiful. It's so retro. I love it. I swear, I, I love the stuff in that uh, in that store because I didn't actually have enough credit for 
the cap, the Polaroid, and 40 films, but they made a discount on the on the films, so I was able to get the big box, which is more economic. So yeah, look at that. I am thrilled to try this out and get some and get some pictures, probably to do a mural on my wall. My wall, as you can see at the moment, my walls are empty as hell. Something, someone might confuse me for a psychopath or something, so I need some cool moments to post in my wall. You know, it's funny because some years ago, when I was still a teenager, I used to hate everything regarding cameras and photography. I couldn't stand seeing myself in a photo, I couldn't stand getting myself in videos, and of course, that was because I was super insecure. I had tons of acne in my face. Better now, not perfect, but definitely better now. And I kind of regret it a lot because I went through some really good memories back then and I would love to have more pictures of that time. Of course, I still have the memories, of course, I still live them, but I feel like getting a picture just so you can actually visualize it as it was, I kind of miss that. So I guess I kind of want to make up for it and grab some shots with people and moments that really are important to me. I think that's another reason why I really like taking portraits of my friends and people I care about because because a lot of the times they just look at the good picture of themselves and like, whoa, like I actually look really good. They're like, yes, you're fucking gorgeous. You look beautiful. Just look at this picture. And I love when they get that realization that, you know, they're beautiful people and they should get taken, fo get taken photos of. Yes, PhD, by the way. <laughs> Speaking. Of being a PhD. I already updated you on what happened while I was away. Now I want to tell you what comes next from I told you before what I have already done so far, so the work I have produced, and in fact my supervisor said that he was very confident, he was certain that I would be able to finish my PhD with the content that I have produced so far. And I'm not gonna lie to you, that brought tears to my eyes when he told me, you know? All the self-doubt and imposter syndrome just went away for a bit and it's like a huge weight got taken off my shoulders because of it. For those who don't know, PhDs in the UK are three to four years, with that fourth year being optional, and you're only supposed to be writing your thesis in that fourth year, so you shouldn't be able to do any more research, although that no one really follows that formality. All of my friends kept doing research into their fourth year, and I will probably do the same. As you now know, I am entering the third term of my third year, and I am planning on going all the way with my fourth year. I planned on it from the beginning. I'd rather take the extra time in to produce something on my thesis that I am very happy about than to rush it and not have an enjoyable time writing it. So I am going to take my full fourth year, which means that I should be delivering my thesis finishing by October 2024. I am freshly turned 24 as well. My birthday was on the 16th of April. And so that means that if everything goes well, I should be finishing my PhD and becoming Dr. Bruno at 25. And you know, that's pretty cool. I think it's a pretty decent accomplishment to finish a PhD at the age of 25. And at the same time, I feel like I'm doing nothing with my life. I mentioned this in another video, but I swear that your early 20s are some of the weirdest times of your life. Part of me feels like I'm on the top of the world, that I am doing amazingly, doing my PhD, going to the gym, having a somewhat decent structure to my life. And the other part of me is like, Bruno, you're almost 25, you're almost midway to your 30s. What have you accomplished so far? Why don't you have a house yet? Why are you not rich? And you know, it's this constant tension between you're doing amazing and what are you doing with your life that I find it hard to balance sometimes. So my goal for the remaining of this year is to be more proactive with what I want to do. I of course already do this for my fitness goals and for my academia slash career, but I would like to work on other side projects too. For example, be more consistent with my YouTube, be more consistent with uh, my photography. And I feel like a lot of it comes from organization skills, which frankly I lack. I live a very wild and chaotic lifestyle where I can usually get the work done, but it could have been done in a less stressful way. 
and that's something I want to work on. I wanted this video to be an update on what's been happening and also a foreshadow of what is to come. And so there you go. This is my current state of affairs. Now I am gonna go play with my new lens. I need to learn it for tomorrow morning, of course. And I'd like to ask something from you guys. If you're in the same age range as I am, drop me down in the comments below if you also feel this conundrum of emotions and how you manage to deal with this tension. I hope to see you much more often going forward. Thank you for watching and now I am gonna go play with my new toy.